This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by Lincoln Savings Bank. At home in Iowa, at work for you. The Panthers' trip to Ames did not go as planned for the UNI football team. In front of a record crowd of 61,500, UNI and Iowa State both sputtered at the beginning offensively. UNI's offense would break through first, putting together an 87-yard scoring drive that finalized with a 19-yard completion from starter Aaron Bailey to running back Savon Huggins. That opened up the scoring, giving UNI a 7-0 lead. Iowa State's next drive would get interrupted with the first turnover of the game as D'Angelo Jennings stripped Quentin Bundridge and Jared Farley recovered the ball. Two plays later, Iowa State's Dale Pearson intercepted a Bailey pass and returned it 24 yards to set up a Cyclone touchdown. Joshua Thomas ran it in from a yard out and Iowa State would get it rolling. A field goal in the second quarter gave ISU a three-point lead at the half and then two touchdown passes from Sam Richardson in the third quarter gave the Cyclones a three-possession lead and a punt return for a touchdown in the fourth quarter capped the scoring as Iowa State won 31-7 starting the Panthers' season at 0-1. So that's how it broke down in Ames in Jack Trice Stadium, 31-7. Iowa State gets the win. Uh, Coach, uh, coming into the season opener, uh, a lot of talk about that quarterback race. Four guys kind of all had their shot. Aaron Bailey gets the nod. Kind of talk about what he did uh, in those weeks leading up to the season opener to kind of earn that starting spot. Well, his athleticism probably what stood out the most. Uh, you could see he was the leading production guy on offense, over 100 yards of uh, rushing. He was the leading rusher and uh, didn't get the ball out the way we wanted him to, but uh, he was our leading rusher. So there was those things that probably made us lean towards him. Do you like what you saw out of him from Saturday enough to uh, stick with him going into the uh, the home opener coming up? Yeah, as of, as of right now, he's the starter for this particular game. I don't think anybody uh, did anything to, to take that from him, but at the same time, you know, you gotta go back and reevaluate. And well, I'll, I'll have the same answer for the next two weeks. Until we get through the open date, this is an open competition. This is just to find out the best fit because we've got two more games here, then an open date, and then we've got to lock in. 114 passing yards for Bailey, uh, also 80-plus uh, rushing yards. They really had more if you don't count the, the sacks that, that went into it. Uh, the new offensive system underneath offensive coordinator Joe Davis. Uh, evaluation after just one week of play, facing a Big 12 defense. It didn't, it didn't do very well. I mean, it's, it, it was very unproductive, and uh, we, need, we, need to, we expect more. And uh, so need to do a better job of helping him through that. But uh, no, I don't, I don't think there's any surprise that you know we weren't we weren't satisfied with what happened. Execution issues with the with the players uh, is is it a little bit of mix between that and, and play calling. Or? It's probably a combination of a lot of things. I mean, it's uh, from the sideline to the huddle, and then from the huddle to the snap. I think there's it could be a combination of many things. And and give Iowa State credit. I thought they did very well and did did a good job defending us. Coach of the running backs, Tyvis Smith, uh, stands out over five yards uh, rushing per carry uh, in the game. Uh, really, you've got three fantastic running backs. Tyvis had a good Saturday, though. Tyvis did good. Tyvis ran hard. So that's why we went back and looked at the film. You try to pick out what, what your real positive were. What, what, where do you hang your hat on, on some of the players that executed that day? And, and where, do you, where do you make some changes? Coach, defensively, uh, started pretty strong that first half. Uh, your evaluation of the defense? Okay, not, not, not to the level that we need to play at. I thought we did a good job of getting turnovers and playing on a short field and not allowing them to score and kept us in the game for the most of the game. But uh, overall, I know we can do much better than that. We, 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 we had an opportunity to shut them out, and yet we give up 31 points. So there's a big difference between good and bad there. All right, Coach. Competition doesn't get any easier. Uh, Coach, not happy with week one, but we've got uh, his thoughts coming up on number seven, Eastern Washington, who comes into the Dome. Stay tuned for more Panther Sports Talk.